Hey there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I have my What I've Been Warming basket here. Um, yeah, I, it's not, I don't think it'll be too long. We'll see. I mean, it was a decent week. Decent week. Uh, lots of little goodies in here. I did only, though, yes, I only got to one, one Scentsy. This is probably the, the least amount of Scentsy I've ever warmed in a week. Normally... I could do three or four, uh, but yeah, we've got one Scentsy, lots of vendor. It was a it was a Rose Girls Melting Challenge week, so that's part of it. But if you're interested in seeing what I warmed for the week, then stick around. All right, so I, I start off with Scentsy all the time and then move on to vendor wax so ruby nectarine this is the one i warmed this is no longer available in the catalog and it's just a it's a it's a great scent i love it and ah uh, gosh um what is in here what else i mean obviously i think is there grapefruit in here there might be grapefruit i don't remember but it's just a fresh fruity but not it's a nice blend. It's not like overly fruity in the, your typical fruits. Maybe that's why I'm think I want to say not overly fruity. It is fruity, but it's not your typical like berries or strawberries or things. So I do like this one. Um, I might have one more. I think that's it. Uh, Ruby Nectarine. So that's what I warmed. The only other thing that was in my August basket that was left from Scentsy. So, so I had also warmed pretty much everything that I said I was going to warm at the beginning of the month was Blue Grotto. And the closer we got to, you know, the end of the basket, which honestly, that's, there's only two things in here that I didn't warm. And this is the other one, Beach Bonfire from Zape. But that's the only two things from my August basket that I didn't get to. This one I decided not to warm just because I just warmed it last month and I kind of didn't feel like it. Again, it's it's a suggestion box and I think I'm just over, over kind of more summery scents and that's why I didn't get to Blue Grotto. But I did, I was in the mood one day, got back into the 90s this week. So um, Ruby Nectarine, I think I warmed on that day where we hit the mid nineties. So the rest of this is vendor wax. Let me, what I will do is share the, take it out of my, my double bagging here, share the rose girls that I melted really quick and give you my thoughts since this was a week with rose girls, uh, melting challenge. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Okay. And then I got Teddy bees. I actually have Teddy bees empties. So we'll get to that in a bit. Let's start with Rose Girls here. Uh, the first one I warmed, I think this might've been day one, which is, which was, this started on a Monday. I think it started on a Monday with Salem. Um, one of my favorite scents. I love this one. It's a uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallows, and vanilla sandalwood. I love it. Uh, the thing with warming or melting challenges though, too, is I can't, I don't finish it because it's just the one day and a bag of rose girls lasts me a while. Um, and I only warm this downstairs, but it, it was a great scent, which I knew it's one of my favorites. It performed really well. I know sometimes I get nervous about, um, rose girls bakery that's been sitting around for a year. This is from October of last year, but it was, it threw fantastic. It was a great performer. I loved it. I love the scent. I think I might have another bag, I think. And then that's it. Then I'm out until, until I allow myself to buy Rose Girls again. I only had one empty from the week and that is King Triton. And this is ocean, oud wood, sea salt, patchouli, vetiver, sea kelp, Indonesian amber, King Triton, because I just did a video. I did a video of what I was planning on warming, but here are the warm reviews. I was like, maybe I shouldn't talk about them. I'm like, duh, no, people want to hear what it, how it performed. Um, but I have talked about this one a lot because I finished it and I know there's patchouli in here. I don't smell it really. What I smell is the sea kelp or the sea salt, you know, that kind of sea aquatic ocean air. Uh, there is ocean in here. I do get the vetiver and I don't smell patchouli. 
And I didn't smell patchouli when I warmed this. So it's just a very fresh, veering on masculine. It does veer a little bit masculine and that's probably the vetiver and the oud wood. And, um, but it's not ultra cologne either, even though there's, I don't know what the difference between Indonesian amber and regular amber is. It's not really cologne. -y. So I, I mean, but like slight, but not really. Like I, I, I don't want to call it that because it was more fresh, just fresh and clean scent. So that is King Triton. I did enjoy this one quite a bit and was a great performer and long lasting. Both the Salem, Salem lasted all day. King Triton lasted all all day. And when I say all day, I'm talking at least 12 hours. And, um, some King Triton was, oh, was like 24 hours really. So they lasted a long time. And when I say that, I'm not kidding. Uh, but K King Triton, I warmed in the bedroom. So it was a smaller space, stronger, but I, I just let that go in the bathrooms. I let that go for a couple of days. Um, but it was such a great performer, both of them. For vendor wax, that's, I'm impressed. Very, very good. Level Up, another fantastic performer. This one booms. Um, and this one is from March of 2023. So this is over a year old. Level Up, fantastic. It's bright. That Satsuma adds this brightness to it. And the Coastal Kale as well. And then you've got Blackberry. So Level Up is basically speechless with Blackberry. The blackberry is beautiful. I love blackberry incense. And I had this one day in the bedrooms, bathrooms. Uh, today I put a little bit um, more in the in the bedroom. In the so second time this week using it, and I have just a little bit left. I literally have enough for like one room. Uh, so I will I won't talk about this again. I'll call this empty. I'll just end up using it this this coming week in one of the rooms and just to not be repetitive. We'll talk about it again, but great performer too. This is another one lasted all day long. Um, so I, and I double, I've been double bagging these. So I'm, I think it's helping. I really do think double bagging has absolutely helped my Rose girls last. Um, then we have Mario's home for the holidays. This is Christmas wish. Oh, Christmas tree, toasted marshmallow, royal sugar cookie, and vanilla bean Noel. I have probably another maybe to warm in two rooms left. Um, this was fun. It's a winter scent. It's a Christmas Christmas tree scent, right? But I liked it. I think I was in the mood. I was in the mood for some tree. It was very good. Very, very good. This one didn't last as long, but I would say this one lasted a good eight to 10 hours. And I had this one all over the place. Uh, this was almost a full bag. This one was downstairs. I was like, I, I'm feeling this. And I put it downstairs and in the bedrooms and in the bathroom. So this one I did have going everywhere except the guest room. I think I had something else in the guest room, but I'm, I might be pulling out some Christmas tree a little earlier. We'll, we'll see, but that was fun. Enjoyed it and performed great again. I don't know what's going on with rose curls, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, it's been a while since I melted it. Fire Mario. This one is from December of 2023. Um, this one, well, like I said, I double bag all of them, but this one, I mean, if, if you don't double bag coffee scents, I feel like they, other scents kind of leach onto it or something, or I don't know what happens, but this one is strong, just like not even opening the bag. Uh, because it's a coffee scent, it takes me a lot longer to get through it because I'm really only warming it in the kitchen area. And, but this is a fantastic scent. I love Fire, Fire Mario. Um, oh man, it's not skunky at all. It's, it's because it's espresso and I think I am enjoying espresso more than coffee, straight up coffee. It's this one with the marshmallow fireside and the donuts has a sweetness to it. Love it. So yeah, I, I will keep using that up little by little. All right. I'm gonna then move on to what else here? Oh, you know what? Before I, before I, I did have another Rose Girls. See, this is why I should check all the little baggies. 
did have another Rose Girls here. So this is the Cow Jumps Over the Moon. <laughs> and this was a Jumpin' on Clouds blend. And time for the glasses. This is fresh picked strawberries, banana cream pie, birthday cake, cotton candy, frosting, cup of cake, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and vanilla crunch donut. So those last, I don't know, five, six uh, notes are the jumping on clouds. And then this is basically strawberries and banana cream pie. I love Rose Girls banana cream pie. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's probably my only, the only banana scent that I enjoy because I get the cream, like I get the whipped cream and it just smells so good. Um, and uh, so I love this one. It was not as, it was not as good a, of a performer as the other ones. So this one I did after like four hours, had to take it out and, and put something else in because it didn't last that long. But I got more of the banana cream pie than strawberry. I really didn't, I didn't really smell a strawberry. Um, but I enjoyed it for the few hours that, um, that I, uh, had it in there. Okay. Well, now we're going to move on. Let me, let me finish organizing this here so I can do this in some kind of order. All right. Now I'm going to move on to wax that my friend made. I've been using a lot of it in this month. Um, it's, it's, it's good though, but it's what I melted. So let me just share what it is real quick. Um, apple Jack bourbon. This is warm apple cider, cinnamon, clove, spiced bourbon, and warm vanilla sugar. So this is like a Jack's obsession with bourbon, with vanilla bourbon. It was fantastic. Or spiced bourbon. Uh, that was good. Although it was a light performer. I did warm this downstairs in open space. Um, so probably would have been better in a, in a room given just the amount of wax I had, but it smelled good when I, when I would walk by and kind of get the air flowing a little bit, it, it was good. Pineapple salsa. This is sweet pineapple, cilantro, peppery greens, and a touch of lime pineapple salsa. Very different. You can actually smell the spiciness. <laughs> it was weird. It's like, but weird in a good way. Like I've never had spicy wax and there was some spiciness to it. This was also light for me, but pineapple, I have found that it doesn't matter the vendor, sassy girl, rose girls, like you name it. Pineapple is very hard for me to get a strong, strong scent of. Um, I get it, but it usually dissipates pretty quickly. So that one was a medium performer. This one though. My gosh, I need more of this one. This is pistachio lemon cookie bar. I had this going in the bedrooms. So good. I need, I need more of this one. This is pistachio cream, oatmeal cookie dough, candied lemon peel, vanilla, and a hint of spice. I need more. That was fantastic and a great performer. Then I had peach cherry vanilla cake pop. So that was, um, where did I warm this? Peach cherry vanilla. I warmed this upstairs because downstairs I had a different peach going. Uh, and this was a great performer for me. And I love that little, little bit of cherry. But peach butter crunch cake was warming on the same day downstairs. And I still have a little bit left because it was a lot actually that I had. And this is buttery yellow cake filled with fresh ripe peaches, maple frosting, and crunchy almond toffee bits. Now I did say in my no-no video, right? That toffee or caramel, like it's a no, but they were toffee bits. So it was enough to add some sweetness in here. It wasn't too thinkingly sweet. Uh, I got a peach, but it was a really nice ripe peach. It was, it was a very it, this is a different scent. Like I don't have a lot of peach scents, let alone with butter cr crunch cake. Uh, so I really enjoyed this. So I'm glad I have a little bit more left. And this was a fantastic performer all day long. Uh, and that's some wax that my friend makes. So um, appreciate that. I have a friend that makes me wax and she's always trying different, really different concoctions and combinations, which I enjoy. Okay. Then from... That smell good shop. We have nocturnal. Uh, this is fruity florals, dark woods, and suede. 
This was given to me by Shijo, and both of these actually was in friend mail from maybe two months ago. Maybe it was in June. And she had written on here that she's not a huge leather fan, but she loves this. And this was a fantastic performer. I wore this in the guest room. And I also say, I won't say I loved it, but I liked it a lot. I did get the suede, uh, the dark woods, and this was a very strong performer. And I think I had three cubes, three of those, that small good shop cubes. And I had it in the guest room. And that, like I said, that was so strong. And I mentioned this in a previous what I've been warming video that that I warmed that small good shop in my Scentsy warmers because someone said they were surprised that it, or maybe I've heard it doesn't melt in Scentsy warmers. It works in my Scentsy warmers. I have the up warmer in there and the falling leaf. I think it's what it's called. I did share it in my uh, warmer tour. What's in the guest room, just those two warmers. And this was fantastic. Uh, so that small good shop works for me in my Scentsy warmers. Um, I mean, I have, all of my Scentsy warmers are pretty much the ones I have out are really good, good performers. So maybe, maybe that's why I don't know. But then this other one here is Dark Kiss Strawberry Musk and Redwood Cedar. Dark Kiss Strawberry Musk and Redwood Cedar. This I warmed in this bedroom where again, I only have Scentsy warmers, my Milk Diamond warmer and the Alabaster warmer. And this was very pretty. I like this one actually more than Nocturnal, but I did enjoy Nocturnal. Uh, but the, this one, what did I like about this one? <laughs> um, the Dark Kiss is Black Raspberry Burgundy Rose and Vanilla Bean. And again, I, I had rose in my no-nos, right? But you don't really get rose. You get a, there was like a, a little bit of a powdery floral for sure. Um, but then you get the berries from the redwood cedar. You get some more berries and cedar and musk. So this is perfumey. I'd say this was kind of body care and I, I really like this one. So that was another great performer from that small good shop. I'm telling you that vendor is working for me really, really well. And, uh, okay. Moving on. This was also from Shijo from friend mail. This one is summer nights. And I look this one up and now I forgot what is in here. Um, what was in here? This one was like, there's musk in here for sure. This was, I think it had like fruits. It doesn't really tell you what kind of fruits when I looked up the scent notes, but in it is fruity, but also perfumey and body care. This also has a bit of like a marshmallow fireside or something a little smoky to it. Um, so this was a nice one. This is from Candles Candles by Victoria. And this was, uh, I warmed this downstairs in open space. So this little scoop here. And uh, it was it was very nice. What didn't throw fantastic for me, but it was, but I can smell it. So I would give this one like a five out of 10 as far as throw goes. And this one didn't last a long, long time. This one only lasted maybe about four hours, uh, but it was pretty, you know, uh, and well, the first time, I think this is the first time I've melted candles by Victoria. I have another one that I was thinking of doing and I might, it's like a lemon pound cake, uh, might warm that this week. And then let's see a couple of other little miscellaneous vendors here and then I'll get to my teddy bees. This one here is from the pharmacist's daughter. It was a sample. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds Blend. Um, so this was a sample I got earlier this summer. I don't think you can see that at all. It's just a handwritten label anyway. Uh, I warm this in the bathrooms, in both bathrooms. It was like two cubes and I just cracked it and put it in there. Um, it's boardwash, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. It's basically what it was. So it was nice in the bathrooms. Um, it was an okay performer, but my bathrooms are fussy. It wasn't a super strong performer, but it was okay. Then Destination Wax White Clouds. This is airy, an airy, lightly floral, fresh laundry blend. And this one, I also warmed in a bathroom, the one upstairs here. I closed the door. A lot of times I just leave the bathroom doors open, but I closed the door because I really wanted to see 
what the scent was like. And yeah, it's a, it's like a clean laundry scent. It's not super laundry, but it's laundry. Um, as, as the scent notes say it is. And this was nice. I think this is a nice, a nice oil mixed with other things. And I think I did get it in a second and spruce. I think white clouds was in there and I didn't know what white clouds was. Now, now I know it's, it is more of a laundry scent. Uh, so it was nice. Um, destination wax white clouds. Then from sassy wax melts, um, just another sample again. And this was triple berries, sun drenched vineyard, cranberry, Mediterranean fig. And this was poured August of 2023. So we're definitely in the year. This sassy melts, um, they've changed their formulation. This one was a harder wax. I believe now her formulation is much, much softer. Uh, I warmed it in the bathroom downstairs. I, I had the door closed. That one is usually closed. And uh, I can get a light sense of berry. So it was just like a berry scent. Uh, it was pretty, it was fine. So that was triple berry. All right, let's close this one out with, um, well, yeah. And then I have a candle to talk about. Um, little, so I have three tubs from Teddy B's. So little pumpkin beach party. I will say that none of these were full. <laughs> I had shared like half or three quarters of it with friends. So, um, you know, they weren't full, full, but little pumpkin beach party. I had been warming this, I think even since last year, this one was time for the glasses again. This was poured. And the reason I give pour dates is because, um, I wait to cure mine and I think it helps knowing like how long something's been curing before I experienced what I experienced. Um, so this is from June of 2023. So it's over a year old little pumpkin beach party. It's beach nights, pumpkin cupcakes and marshmallow fluff. I love this scent. I would like to see this come back and I know it's been, um, by the time this video goes up, we'll know what's on the next pre-order for Teddy B's. So we'll see if this one's up there or maybe we won't know. Sorry. By the time this video has gone up the voting for, so it's not even the pre-order list, but the voting for what could end up on the pre-order list will be up, but love this one. And it was a great performer. Warm this in my Scentsy warmers. I didn't do tea lights or anything. I did do one hot plate, but I warmed this in my Scentsy warmers downstairs. They're the, the new pumpkin ones that I put out the Halloween Halloween and fall warmers and fantastic through fantastic and left this on this lasted. I, I mean, I think I, it was definitely over 10 hours before I took it out and it still had scent when I took it out, but it was like evening and I wanted to warm a candle, you know, so I, I stopped melting them. London fog. This is, I do have a tub of this as a backup. This is the one I purchased last year. This was poured July 11th of 2023. It's Earl Grey tea, lavender milk with a hint of boardwalk marshmallow. Loved it so much that I did get another tub of this, this last pre-order, last go around. Her tea is so authentic and so pretty. I don't even like drinking tea, but it's beautiful. With that lavender milk, it, this is to me such a fantastic nighttime, bedtime, bedroom. I did warm this downstairs as well on a different day, but I love it in the bedrooms because it's just, it's relaxing. It's calming. It's a gorgeous scent. So that is London fog. And then, um, this morning I finished brown butter and praline. This is a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. This was poured August 9th of 2023. So all of these have been over a year old. I'm telling you, I don't, I know some people don't want to wait a year to cure and I'm not saying you have to, but I do feel there's a difference. I do feel it just gets stronger and stronger. What I would say, and I think other people have said this, if you can't wait, and I understand not wanting to wait, if you can't wait and melt it right away, save some, just save some, like go ahead and melt it, get, 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 you know, smell it, enjoy it, but save some and cure it, let it sit for a while. And I think you'll be surprised at how long, how much longer it lasts. 
London fog lasted, I left this in over a day and it was in my Scentsy warmers in the bedroom. It's not a punch you in the face scent, like that's not the scent at all, but you can smell it very, very well throughout the room. It's It was everywhere. Um, so I do feel like if you let it cure, it just gets stronger and the throw gets better. Um, not always the case, but generally speaking, um, you know, try that just to see, test it, test it just to see. Um, so back to this one, browned butter and praline. This one I had shared with some friends of mine because it was in a full tub and I don't recall warming this before. I don't know. It was like half a tub. I don't So this, this has been shared for sure. Um, and I'm going to say, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I, um, the, the past three pre-orders and even before, but the past three pre-orders, I've stayed away from bakery for the most part. If you've watched those hauls, I love for me, what I love, love, love from Tiffany and no one, no one does it like she does is her outdoors or what I'll call atmospheric scents. Even her, I love cashmere. So she does use a lot of Palo Santo and cashmere in her, um, maybe even body care, maybe bedroom scents. I love those scents. And I don't buy a lot of her bakery and I find that they're not my favorite. And so this one for me, um, I actually ended up taking it out of the warmer. I'm like, I'm not enjoying this. Um, and I, I don't know what it is. I I'm thinking it's the, I mean, I've had other things with praline, so I'm trying to think what it is about this. Maybe it's the toasted pecans or Maybe it's the praline candy, maybe because it's praline candy. There's just something in here that almost got a little soapy. And I know some people were on cold sniff a year ago, I think in the pre-order were saying like, this smells a little soapy and I didn't get soapy on cold. Um, and I'm not saying I got soapy on warm, but there is almost something like sudsy. Um, so there's just something off to me about this one. So that that is that. And then let me get to the last thing I was going to talk about. I forgot it, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I wanted to talk about what I've been burning <laughs> and I'm not that far off, but I did mention, or I think you saw this candle in my warmer tour and I said I was going to talk about it and then I was like, am I? <laughs> so here I am talking about it. This one is a candle from Beauty Pie, which I I am a member of Beauty Pie. I buy a lot of skincare from Beauty Pie. I bought makeup and oh, now they do hair and they've always done perfumes and candles and things. And so I have a couple of these candles. I want to say these are like, they're like luxury candles. I, I think they're 20 to $30, 20, I think something like that. But anyone, anyway, this particular one is called Bahia de Miel. De Miel. Bahia de Miel, <laughs> and which means it's like, well, miel is honey. Bahia is bay, as far as I know. Um, so it's, but that doesn't make sense. But anyway, this is green basil, licorice milk. So I'll get to that in a second. Mixed into balsam fir, gayak wood, honey, and seductive vanilla musk. Now, in my no-no video, I said, I don't like licorice. Uh, and I didn't even realize there was licorice in here. It says licorice milk. You do not get licorice milk. To me, this smells like, and then also green basil. I don't get green basil. What I'm getting, and I get like almost like a touch, like a touch of honey. Um, I get a lot of vanilla husk, a husk, a lot of vanilla musk. And I get the guayac, guayac wood. I don't get... Um, what is it? Balsam fir. I think it's the, the guayac wood is like oud and it's like an oud vanilla musk. And what I get from this is like a tobacco. This is like a tobacco scent. And I love this candle. So when this has been warming, not warming, I've been burning this one downstairs in my living room. It, this, this guy, it's not even a three wick. It's just a one wick. It fills the room. 
And it feels like you're walking into like the classiest home or even like a designer store, like think like a Tom Ford or something like designer store. And, you know, there's this scent. It's that's what it smells like. It's like this is luxury, the luxury in a candle. Um, I love it. And that's what this was. So I wanted to share that because I was melting. I keep melting, burning. I was burning this uh, during the warmer tour that I give when I was sharing the the warmers at night. So I did want to talk about that before I forgot. So that is that. I also have a tobacco one from Beauty Pie and that one's really nice too. So anyway, that is my video of what I've been melting this week. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you again for everyone that leaves comments and likes and just watches my video, even if you don't leave any comments. I really, really appreciate it. I um, am today, I'm filming a bit of a vlog, which hopefully I'll have up by the end of this week. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been, I know that watching a lot of videos takes time, time that you could be doing something else. And so I am really, really appreciative to everyone that watches. I try to watch as much as I can, but, but I've also had to tell myself like, it's okay if you don't watch every single one. It's, uh, there's so many people I love and support and, and, um, you know, I just can't do it like every time, um, especially if there's just one video after another, after another this month, I hope to slow it down a little bit. August was a lot with four videos a week. That was a lot. And it just worked out that way that I, I guess I had a lot to share with, you know, warmer tours and some tag videos and things like that. So I'm hoping that September I'll ease up a little bit and maybe do three, even two sometimes a week. Um, just to, you know, it's helpful, <laughs> I think, for everyone to be able to catch up a little bit. And even for me, because if I'm recording and editing, that's hours that I don't have to watch. And it gets really, really hard uh, to do all of it. And I didn't talk about this, but I did get rid of a Swispers cotton ball bag here. Um, so that's that one. But that's it for now. So thank you so much again for all your love, your support um, means a lot to me. And for all of you that have joined the Facebook group, thank you so much for interacting in there and posting what you're warming. And it's really been a joy to get to know you all more, um, you know, this community and and get to know each of you a little bit more. And it's, you know, we're, like I said, we're talking about other things like, you know, Dawn Power Wash and things like that. So if you haven't joined and would like to join in, uh, I will put a link. It'll be in the description box below. Uh, and thank you so much. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.